Hi and welcome back to my channel Little Pearls of Randomness. My name is Lauren and today we're doing a Christmas makeup. Christmas I'm thinking red lips like really sparkly eyes and yeah just making yourself look a little bit shinier than usual <laughs> those are the things that come to mind um, you can do this for whenever you want during the Christmas season either mid winter Christmas if you celebrate that in the southern hemisphere because we don't get uh, snow and stuff during Christmas um, or a Christmas work do. This is what I pretty much wore to my Christmas work do, um, including the headband. Um, yeah, and I think it turned out really well. And I also did my hair up a little bit special, so I did it in a plait, but I used tinsel as one of the sections in the plait and then rolled it up into a bun. It looked really cool. Um, yeah, but back to makeup. If you're interested to see how to do this particular Christmas look, then please keep watching. If you've been watching me for a while, you probably understand my makeup routine. Um, but if you haven't, we're just going to speed through it very quickly. So first of all, just buffing on some foundation. I'm using the Fenty Beauty foundation and one of the lightest colors. Uh, yeah, I look a bit pale, but never mind. Um, and I just like to push the foundation in with the Beauty Blender. Next comes the NARS Creamy Concealer under my eyes and then just pushing that in again with a Beauty Blender. Onto eyebrows, I'm just using my normal Eye of Horus pencil that's got the jewel size to it. So I'm using uh, the pencil side at the moment and just outlining my eyebrows and then colouring them in. And then I'll go over them with the setting gel. I want to warm up my face and make myself look a little bit less pale so I'm using my Hourglass Ambient Bronzer and yeah that's quite a lot so I'm just going to try and buff that out as much as I can put some on my forehead then I'll use that beauty blender just to tone it back a little bit oh I completely forgot to cover up my blemishes I'm not having a great skin moment um, currently so yeah I just want to take care of that and I'm going to use the little beauty blender just to tidy up around the edges and blend that out What's Christmas without a little bit of sparkle and shine? So I'm just using a highlighter to highlight the tops of my cheeks, my nose, and also my cupid's bow. Of course, it has to be the shiniest one in that palette. At last, we're on to the eyes. I'm going to prime them first with the Lorac primer, just to ensure that it's a little bit more stickier and whatever I put on my eyes is going to last a bit longer. And I'm going to be using one of my favorite palettes, the Lorac Pro palette, and I'm going to be going into top first just to create some depth in my crease. Then I'm going into a much loved color cream just to highlight my brow bone. Now onto the shiny stuff, I'm using the Stila ones, and look how shiny that is. It's in Kitchen Karma, and it's sort of like this rose gold, yeah, it's just gorgeous, whatever it is, it's absolutely gorgeous, and it stays on for ages, it is brilliant. I'm allowing some time just to let it dry a bit, and then I'm going back into the palette, I'm going into Sable this time, and I'm going to create some depth in the corner of my eyes, just sort of using it into the V-shape and patting it very gently. Back into the palette, I'm going into Nude, just to do the highlight in my inner corner. Then I'm using Taupe again to do underneath my eyes, and then I'm going to add a little bit of sable into the corner just to link it back up. Eyeliner, and I absolutely love this stuff. The Ico eyeliner is fantastic. It is so thin. So I'm just doing a thin coat first, and then I'll thicken it up and add a little wing to it. And the final touches to the eyes, mascara. I'm using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. This stuff is great if you want to build up your lashes. So I'm using it on the tops and the bottoms. 
lip time and I'm using a classic. It is the Rimmel Provoca Lips and I'm using it in this sort of cherry red. It is gorgeous and it's so good. It doesn't come off so I'm just being really careful with it because again it doesn't come off so you need to be very careful if you're applying this particular lip filler. I'm back with my hair done though it seems that something kind of missing. Oh wait, that's right. A Christmas headband. What is Christmas without a beautiful Christmas headband? Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed uh, watching that video um, of Christmas makeup. So really, Christmas makeup is anything sparkly on the eyes and a red as lip. Um, and any Christmas accessories that you may choose. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I hope you continue to watch my Christmas series. Um, got a whole bunch of different things coming up for it. So yeah, thanks so much for watching and we'll catch you back here next time. Bye.